Well, 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 look what series is back for another round, and it's especially exciting when there isn't 90 minutes of transit ahead of us. As usual, I like to start these episodes by covering the most common community suggestions or responses to questions I've had previously. You guys very clearly answered the why do crawlers die in Black Ops 2 question. You guys let us know that essentially they just bleed out over time, and we either need to keep a normal zombie alive or let the crawler bite us intermittently because that apparently resets the crawler's bleed out timer or something like that. I didn't really expect zombies to become a weird science, but here we are. You guys also defended the zombie shield that me and Jameson weren't exactly kind to, because apparently it can block all damage from behind you. It didn't really occur to me to just keep the shield on my back. And yeah, I don't have much to say, except for if we can build that again, I'm in, because it sounds really helpful. Also, apparently you are supposed to be shooting the ground with the ray gun, which I will be doing from now on. Please stop yelling at me. But that's that's going to do it for the intro today. Let's move swiftly along if we can. On the menu today is Die Rise and Mob of the Dead. Let's get started. Die Rise is next. Oh my god, look at the skybox. It's beautiful. Pretty out there. This map looks so amazing. <laughs> yeah. There's like no fog or gray, like red smoke everywhere. There's dragons. Oh, right, they're zombies. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. It's kind of cool to actually see the effect of moon. Because in transit, like, I mean, it was dark and... Yeah, you couldn't see anything. A bit cracked. But this is a fucking destroyed city. Like, this place is ruined. Debris is going down. Hold F for part. Uh-oh. Oh, and here we go again. Uh-oh. Is every map going to have a 17 parts to figure out? It's like a golf flag. To anyone who knows Die Rise, no one is going to be surprised that the first chunk of exploring Die Rise is us being extremely lost and confused. Wow! 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 Whoa! Oh. <laughs> that was weird. That was like Uncharted. <laughs> oh wait! Wait, the mission book is on the ceiling! What the? <laughs> Come on, voices. That's cool. Oh great, fucking great. Actually, I do have to do a short intermission here. To just quickly say, do not trust this slip and slide. Oh, I just didn't make it. <laughs> I just didn't make it. Ah. I like, went through the floor. <laughs> All right, good luck, dude. What the fuck? Okay, then. It will betray you, and this will also be very relevant later on. Anyway, back to being lost in Die Rise. Everything's upside down. <laughs> Wait, how, how is this upside down? Where are we? I'm confused. I don't know. It's it's a little odd. <laughs> God, I'm confused. I like it. There's a power icon pointing down here. Down the elevator shaft. <laughs> right, let's go, I guess. What is happening? Jesus. Where do we go? Oh, we keep dropping. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good God. I don't like this. Oh, my God. Jesus, oh, my God. Jesus. Wow. Is this the biggest map ever? What is this? The AN-94? You can just buy that? Oh, it's like a uh, AK. I'll take that. Yeah, it looks decent. I want to do an early shout out to the AN-94. This is by far the best wall weapon so far. I really love this thing. This is, uh, this map is a lot. I'm confused about where we are. We're still upside down. Holy shit, look at this. I didn't need oh, that. I'm going in. Wow, yeah, I think this is like the top half of the building fell down and landed. Yeah, it looks like Wait, that. Wait, can you go this way too? What the fuck? Oh, there's a whole nother building? Oh, the power's just Oh right. my god. Oh, okay. Oh, there's no more than 132 clan, but... I'm adding a part. Oh, it's probably like transit where it's kind of locational. Yeah, right? whoa, look at this. That looks like it's gonna be a gun. Ooh. Oh, there's here's a fridge to put uh, ah. items in. Retrieve weapon. Let's go. Oh, there you go. All right, let's turn this. Ah, around. it's my transit S12. Yeah, from ages ago. It's not the S12 at all. It's the M1216 auto shotgun. Get power. Okay, okay good. Oh, oh, wait, cool. wait, wait. Was a jug I just saw fly by? Well, there's a pack a punch sitting here. We're just available. Oh, okay. Huh. Was it like on the top of the elevator or something? Incorrect part. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh. Oh. These like moving. Interesting. What the? What the? 
Whoa, 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 The Wendigos are back. Whoa, 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 these are different. They're like acrobatic ballerinas. Jesus. Oh, God, I don't have a gun or ammo. Ah! This is not good. Jesus This is like the dog rounds. Wow, they do jump around, huh? Ah! I'm trying to help with grenades. I'm taekwondo on my ass. Yeah, they really are, aren't they? Right. It's a dance battle. So these guys are called Jumping Jacks, and, I mean, damn, these Wendigos have been practicing their dance moves ever since Moon, I guess. I can't say that these guys really seem like much of a threat. Uh, I feel like they spend more time busting moves than really attacking you. You wanna play Taekwondo, huh? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I kind of appreciate their moves. It's quite impressive. Okay, those are uh, interesting. Okay. Whoa. Oh, don't go down there. <laughs> Wait, there was an elevator here. They were, yeah. I wonder if they went. What? Where'd it go? I don't know. They're still like... Maybe above us? Yeah, I wonder if they went all the way back up or all the way down, maybe? I think I can see the ass of it. I think it's at the very top. Um, yeah, how do we get out of here? Do we, can we ride any of these elevators up? Oh, right, yeah. It's got like to when be they're... It. When it's down, like, but you can still drop onto it. Yeah, like... Like right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just hang out here. I think if you go to this, this is incorrect part. Oh! Oh! Ah! Bye! Ah! Oh, you're fine, you're fine. One part of navigating is standing on top of elevators as they lift you up to different floors. Oh, here we go. Okay, yeah, this is new. We're going up to the top. It seems like during the transit and die rise development phase, Treyarch were really into the idea of the player standing around and waiting for something to move you somewhere else. I'd say the elevator shafts are kind of cool, um, but I definitely won't miss when we move past just standing around and waiting for stuff to slowly take us elsewhere. Jesus, Murphy. I have no idea how we got here. Uh, this map is very confusing. Yeah, very Oh my god, it just keeps going. Mm. Bush! Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust. Ooh. Stuff like that in old games. So that's essentially what a full loop of Die Rise looks like. Die Rise is definitely a very strange setup. You have the starting skyscraper, which has two floors, I think, and then you fall down the upside down skyscraper, which has, I don't know how many floors. Then when you get to the bottom of that one, you jump across to a second skyscraper, which has two floors at the bottom, and then two floors at the top, I think it's very confusing to start. We did find two workbenches along the way, so we obviously have more to find amongst this maze. Hold it. What? Huh? The shower is the bank. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. What? What? <laughs> yeah, the shower is the bank. Okay. Huh. These elevators can be a little dangerous at times as well. Oh, I'm going up. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm to you. <laughs> I was on. I was standing on top of an elevator, and it went straight up and crushed me. Are you dead, dead? I fully died and respawned. Oh, what? Because the round was just transitioning. It turns out there is an alarm sound to warn you of an impending crushing that's about to happen, but it did take us a while to figure that out. Oh! Ah. <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, oh. I didn't know. <laughs> oh, fuck it up. Sweet. I didn't know it was going to go up again. God. I did. Damn it. Dude. <laughs> fuck these elevators. And back at the spawn, we also have this leg breaking elevator ride. What's this? What the? It's like a freight elevator. Woo! Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, oh, I'm stunned. Hold that for part. Wait, wait, wait. I grabbed it. It's a key. It's a Ooh. key. Looks like an elevator. Oh, an elevator key. Here we go. Here's an elevator. Here's one. Hold that to insert elevator key. Okay, so that just calls the elevator, basically. Is it one-time use? I used mine, and it's gone now. One-time use. It's a one-time use item, yeah. Uh, the elevator key seems like a bit of a strange item to me. It's one-time use, and it simply calls an elevator to you. But the elevators don't really seem that slow to wait for anyway. Um, but maybe these are good in emergencies. I'm not really sure. One nice thing about Die Rise is the vending machines and Pack-a-Punch machine are just kind of there from the beginning. Whoa, Jug, what the hell? Where'd you come from? Give me that. 
Oh shit. Oh shit. Chug's over here. On me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Chug, baby. Woohoo! They're all just sitting in one of the elevators, and I kept waiting for there to be some sort of catch. But, uh, no. Uh, for whatever reason, Die Rise is just generous. Maybe people were annoyed by the asteroid system in Nuketown and traveling around transit? I don't know. But after doing the Tower of Babel, it felt really weird to just have perks and Pack-a-Punch easily available again. <gasps> I found a perk! Where? It was in the sewing room, uh, power room. <gasps> No way, in Skyscraper 3? I don't believe you. Yeah. Hold F to take Sliquifier? What the fuck? Ooh, that sounds good. It's like a dead rising weapon. Oh, what? It's like a it's like a portal speed orange gun. <laughs> like from Portal. What? Like it speeds up you you shoot like purple goo on the ground. Yeah. And it speeds your movement speed up a little bit. You splatooning over there? Yeah, I am. Does it slow the zombies down? What does it do to the zombies? It makes the zombies slip, it looks like. That's cool. Woo -woo -woo -woo. That's funny. Let's have a look at this. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Oh, it kills him as well, which is at least something. But apart from that, is it useful? <laughs> yes, it's it's very useful. Okay. Don't question it. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're getting attacked by a, a big horde, it really <laughs> hinders all of them, doesn't it? It really does. Oh, no! Nice. I into the Smooth. <laughs> <laughs> I got bamboozled. I blame you, you put it there on purpose. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Premeditated. <laughs> We're loaded, man. Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> that was exactly what I wanted to do. No! <laughs> you piece of shit. Yes. I thought it might help. Uh, I thought it might, but I was mostly hoping it would oh do exactly my that. God, you're a bastard. <laughs> Uh, that's what you get for making me do this series. <laughs> well, I guess that's fair. Whee! Oh, fuck. Nice. I got hit by a zombie at the last nice. second. Ha 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 ha. That's what you get. <sighs> that was good. Yeah, Jameson was very happy about that one. I would say the Sliquifier is pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of the Baby Maker from Shangri-La, where at first it seems like a silly joke gun. Uh, but it actually turns out it's pretty useful and powerful. But we do have one buildable left to get done, and in Die Rise we also missed a new vending machine. What the fuck is that? It just came up. It's like a Bioshock machine. What the? Who's who? What? It looks like a, yeah, the Vi Vita, Vita Chamber. The Vita Chamber. Yeah. It does, yeah. I will take it. I wonder what that does. Okay, here's some bell. I got the bellows. Oh yeah, and there's this part here. And then there should be a flagpole somewhere around here. What? A little, little. Yeah, this is gonna be some fucking trap, isn't it? <laughs> uh, it looks like it. Yeah. Some zombie trap again. It looks like a spring trap. Ooh. Yeah. That could be fun. Okay. What do we got? Trample steam. What? <laughs> Trample steam. <laughs> this is gonna be perfect. Can we springboard across? That's what I'm doing. Ding ding! Oh! Yeah, look at that. <laughs> okay. That's kinda cool. I mean, this, that saves a lot of time, dude. That is pretty good. Hello? There we go. That is pretty good. Yeah. That's good. That's actually worth building. Yeah. That is pretty good. Yeah, both. I, li I like both of those buildables. I like that. Okay. We're definitely gonna make an effort to build this thing every time just to make getting around easier. Whee! Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> the first time you experience who's who, it's pretty confusing. What the? What, oh. Oh. Uh. Whoa. What, what's happening? What? What the? Oh. What just happened? I don't know. What but, the fuck? But I can revive myself. I'm a ghost. Yeah, what I'm the? the oh. 
I was definitely very confused to begin, but it turns out this is what Who's Who does. It allows you to become a ghost thing and revive yourself. You also get to keep all your perks, so yeah, this is pretty strong. Uh, but yeah, that about covers it for Die Rise Exploration. Uh, this map is pretty interesting, I'd say. The navigation is awkward, but in a way which at least feels creative and different. And also, we're coming straight off of transit, so maybe that helps here. And also, the trample steam does minimize some of that navigational frustration. But I definitely appreciate how accessible the vending machines and pack-a-punch machine are. It was surprisingly easy to bring together a really powerful build on Die Rise. And for once, I'm not dreading or feeling super nervous about the easter egg because of this. But I heard bad things about this map, and so far, I don't really mind it. I could definitely see why it doesn't stand out as a fan favorite, but it's pretty... Oh, I wondered when you turn up. I've been standing here the whole time, sir. Oh, okay, well that's a little creepy. Uh, what have you got for me this time, Reginald? I see you haven't brought in a giant stack of comments this time. No, sir. My great, 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 great granddaughter gifted me her old mobile communications device, sir. I have direct access to all comments going forward, sir. Ah, well, good luck in the comments, Reginald. People do not seem very infused with your performance or knowledge of these games, sir. I know, I saw. They did mention you should learn perma perks, sir. Right, that is a good shout. Let's do that next. So, it turns out that all the while we were screaming and struggling in transit, there was an entire perk system that we had no idea about. So, in transit, die, rise, and buried, you can perform certain actions that will reward you with a secret permanent perk. There is obviously a small catch where every perk has a counter action, which will remove these perks. It is going to make things a little bit more complicated. We're going to have to memorize a short list of things to avoid doing, but hey, more perks is good by me. One thing we're going to do before the Die Rise Easter Egg is we're going to do a preparation session. We're going to go in the day before, we're going to make sure to stock up our shower bank thing with lots of points, probably put a few weapons in the fridge, and during the preparation session, we're going to figure out what these perma perks are, how to get them, how not to lose them, and just which ones seem worth the trouble. So the first perma perk we try to get is double pistol points. Actually, hold it right there. This is Joe from the future. I am interrupting here. I have a whole 10 minute section fully edited going over every single perma perk and even ranking each one based on which ones we're going to use or not use. But on reflection, I just think this section is kind of boring honestly. The aim of this series is just to cover every map and I think this went just a little bit off course and I think it hurt the overall flow of the video so I'll give you guys the too long didn't get to watch version. Some of the perma perks don't really seem worth the effort, some of them seem only helpful if you go really deep into rounds or play a lot of zombies which me and Jameson don't really do and three of the perma perks we're actually going to use. So the three perma perks we eventually decided were worth getting for us is you can get better weapons from the mystery box by accepting a bunch of guns in a row you can get permanent quick revive by reviving your friend a bunch of times in a row without failing and you can get permanent juggernog from dying a bunch of times in a row on round one the mystery box and quick revive perma perks are great but the juggernog one is incredible because it also stacks with the vending machine one, allowing for a whopping seven hits before being downed. But yeah, I think that covers everything a little bit more quickly than 11 minutes of me rambling on. If you are a super zombies fan and want every tiny morsel of zombie content, then this entire section was uploaded to the Patreon for the Die Rise early access that went up quite a while ago. Not my best Patreon plug of all time, but I guess if you want 10 minutes of extra super detailed zombie goodness, then that's where to get it. Apart from that, it is time for high maintenance. One thing I didn't consider is that our patrons would be rich beyond belief on the maps which have a bank. I'm gonna grab like, just gonna grab like five grand to start. 77 grand! Oh my god, who's that? 
I have more if we need oh, it, but... <laughs> Jesus Christ! Luminous Rain could afford to open every single door and get every single perk on round one. At this point, I really don't know why we did Tower of Babel with just the two of us. I do have to skip a little bit ahead here when it comes to Easter Egg steps. There is a step in the future which involves having a Pack-a-Punch Ballistic Knife, but on the guide I was using, it specifically stated that this step cannot be accomplished by someone who has bled out. This seems like a bit of a strange condition and I actually wasn't sure whether to trust it or not but I also don't want to risk getting halfway into the easter egg and you know things just not working out. So we were going to obey what this guide says. It shouldn't be too difficult. All we had to do is make sure not to die. No, oh, are you? No. Oh, oh. Did you get the classic slip and slide break on you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I had that happen to me the other day. Are you just perma dead? Yeah. You're just dead until the next round, eh? That sucks. Well, so that means you can't get the ballistic knife. Because for whatever reason, the guide, it says if you've bled out, you can't do the ballistic knife step. I don't know why, but that's what it said in the guide. That's something. <laughs> well, there's three of us. That's fine, yeah. Oh, oh my god. god. It's, so, no. it's so bullshit, dude. Oh my god. It's such bullshit, man. Aye, aye, aye. Do we, we want to call for a restart? Jameson can still get the ballistic knife. It's just, it, it's like glitchy. Like you land on the floor and yeah. you just teleport through. It's like an internet thing. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Fuck this slip and slide, man. After this incident, I never use this thing ever again. Eventually, the Patreon showed us that you can just trample steam through this door here after dropping down a different route. And also, Malta said that this actually even happens on single player. I assume this was like an internet lag issue, but apparently that's not it. It can happen when you're offline. So I have no idea why this happens. It just seems like a bad bit of game design. I don't know. Regardless, I hate this thing and I'm never using it again. But whatever, we still have Lumi and Jameson who have not died yet. As long as one of them stays alive, this attempt is still- Oh, oh no. I thought you just said you can't. <laughs> this is, what's happening over here? Wait, how are, how are you down for- <laughs> What happened? What just um, happened? So Lumi's died. So the only person who can do the ballistic knife step is now Jameson. <laughs> do we want to give a restart? I'm not sure what Lumi was trying to do here, but after this, we thought it was probably simpler to just deposit all of our points and wipe and start fresh. And this time, all of us are going to stay away from the slip and slide. Right, guys? You're going to stay away from the slip and slide, right? No one would be silly enough to use this after what we went through guys right anyway let's get on to attempt two attempt two started off completely fine oh, 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 no. oh. don't die oh <laughs> multi died so multi can't get the uh the ballistic knife oh yeah i think remember joe you don't want to do the five mystery box thing right to get like super good guns oh you're right you want oh, hey. Hey. Go. thank god um i'll give it an mp5 Oh, and I just got the good mystery box as well. Yep, nice. I briefly mentioned it before, but in this Easter egg, the only thing we need to get from the mystery box is the ballistic knife. And having a huge abundance of points makes this very easy to accomplish in the early rounds. Saving points in the bank is just crazy powerful. I had to pack a punch the ballistic knife for a future step in the Easter egg, and I got it done on round two. But finally, it is time to get into the Easter egg steps. A lot of these steps are not that interesting, being honest. A lot of the steps in this Easter egg are based around searching the map for a bunch of symbols on the ground. Kind of reminded me a little bit of Call of the Dead at times. Step one is standing on four symbols on top of various elevators. The only awkward part of this step is finding a timing where all four of our elevators line up in a position which won't crush one of us. Right, whenever you guys are ready, I am safe for quite a while. Okay. Mine's ready. Yeah, I'm just waiting for it to synchronize. I'm waiting on mine still. This one is so slow. Okay, I can get on mine. Okay, I'm on mine. Okay. I think we did it. I heard it, yeah, yeah. The oh, the zombie just got killed by the elevator. Uh oh. Okay. That's fine, we got the, we got the step done. All right. Nice. Great. Step two was finding four more symbols on the ground and stepping on them in the correct order. The order is random each time you play, so you just have to do a little bit of process of elimination amongst the group. All right, I found my one. So if I stand on this, nothing happens. So I guess I'm not the first one. 
Is that how it works? Mine is the first. I have the first one. Okay. Mine's golden. I stepped on mine. Mine turned off. So it's not me second. Mine Nothing. and somebody else. Nothing for me second, it looks like. Oh, it's me second. Okay. Right. Do you want to just go, Jameson, to just see? I'm nothing. So I guess it's me. Mine is still on. Mine's still on. Mine turned it off. turned off. Oh. Yep. Mine's hey, on. No. On. No. Oh, I just got... Sorry, there's two symbols at me. Yeah. I'm third. I, mine just lit up. All good, all good. We're oh, done. It's not too bad. Step three was sniping the two balls out of the dragon's mouth, which Jameson took care of. So I just shoot the ball out of the two dragon mouths? Is that what a guide says? Yes. I believe so. All right, I'm doing it. Just snipe it. There's one. Boom. They're shooting fireworks out of the dragon's tails. Ooh. These balls then end up back at spawn for me and Jameson to pick up. And guess who thought they were too special to be affected by the slip and slide? Wish me luck, I'm taking the slip and slide. Oh, fucking hell, dude, you're out of your mind. No. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, shit. But, but what, did, what did you it have? stupid. I know, it's stupid. Um, I had the ball and that was it. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I mean, obviously you have no weapon, so it's not ideal. I can just go back and get the ball, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Okay. I'm not doing that slip aside ever. Yeah, I should have taken the other route. I was cocky because it's never happened to me. Yeah. Yeah. So the next step was supposed to be killing 15 oh zombies in the Buddha room, but we were a little concerned with Jameson dying with one of those balls on him. For some reason, the guide I use does have picking up the balls above this, but you don't use the balls for a while, so I don't know if it matters that we don't have the balls on us. It might just be like. It a might be because route. you might be charging the ball with the kills. Oh, right. Uh, yeah. Well, do you, one of you just want to go get the balls? It doesn't have to be Jameson. I, I can go grab the ball, yeah. I think you still have the ball. Okay. And we need to end the round and spawn you in. So let me regroup with everyone else and then... Yeah, because it's not like an inventory item, you know, so... After Shangri-La, I've been very paranoid about confusing Easter egg steps or doing things in the wrong order. I was a little concerned the game might not know what's going on here, but we are very early in the round, so I thought we might as well get Jameson back and try this anyway. There's only one small awkward thing about this step, which is if you kill any zombies outside of the room, it resets the kill counter, which made it a little awkward for Jameson to get guns again. To be able to get up there now. You just sprint at it the whole way. There you go. I'm not kill. I won't. I won't kill anything either. Yeah. Okay. I might need to kill some. Okay. <laughs> I'm coming to you. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh. Don't worry, I have a contingency plan, which is resetting the challenge because I have to kill zombies to get to you, but... But honestly, even though we had a bunch of slip-ups and people going down and even dying in these easter egg attempts, the fact that we can stay in such a low round because of our abundance of points, except for the ballistic knife steps, there really isn't any risk or punishment here when things go wrong. The bank is just crazy, man. I love that thing, and I'm really gonna miss it when it isn't in the next map coming up. Oh, oh, oh. All right, there we go. That's a voice line, baby. So yeah, I was a little worried that something wasn't going to work, but so far, so good. Now, it is time for the step that resulted in our wipe last time. It's the reason for the Pack-A-Punch Ballistic Knife. It's all led to this. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Oh, apparently that's it. Yeah. Weird. Okay. okay. <laughs> that did it. Uh, yeah, that, that's it. Um, the step is just to shoot the knife in this room? Anywhere. Uh, yeah, weird step. After this, we had yet another job of running around and finding four more symbols. On top of these symbols, everyone had to place a trample steam facing towards the radio tower. This results in two pairs of trample steams facing each other. Then you place one of the balls on each of these pairs, and it results in these balls ping-ponging backwards and forwards. I flung my ball. Do you see it? I see the I balls it. flying. Yeah, do you see this here? Uh, yes, it's flying to to Lumi's, I think. All right. Well, if it's not coming to yours, Jameson, then you should be free to place yours. So I just place... Okay, and it's going to go to uh, Malta's, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. Apparently that's it. Oh, for holy fucking shit. Yeah, it, <laughs> Kevin, it does fling you. Ball gone. I see it. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. <laughs> okay. Okay, they are ping-ponging. They're ping-ponging. <laughs> Oh yeah. Good god. Oh! Whoa! Oh. 
Radio Tower's freaking out? Uh, so far this easter egg has been pretty straightforward. It feels very similar to the ones back in Black Ops 1. So yeah, we're kind of used to this type of easter egg by now. We haven't had too much trouble. But this step is where things get a little interesting. The big final step is the Mahjong tiles. There are 8 Mahjong tiles hidden around the map. There are 12 possible locations they can be. 4 of these tiles represent a direction on a compass and four of these tiles represent a number. These two sets of tiles can all be paired up via color coding. One number will link to one compass direction. All these pairs will essentially spell out a code. A code which tells us which order to hit the four corners of the radio tower. One to four is the order and the compass direction is which pole to hit in the sequence. Does that make sense? It's definitely one of the most cryptic steps out of all the easter eggs we've done so far. But anyways, it's time to get searching and noting these down. I have Galvanuckles. Nice. Okay. I have four by me. Okay, what color is it? Blue. Okay, it's important because uh, they correspond color-wise. Okay, this is north, and that is N4, I believe. So it's a pair already, so that's good. Okay. N4, so north is the last one we're going to hit. I have a green S, I believe. Nice. S? Oh, south. green S. Never mind. <laughs> south, right. Oh, yeah, S. I got one. I got a... I got the east tile on me at the... Interesting. I don't see a color, though. So that's probably black, right? East black. Black, then. Yes, east black. Uh, the two is black, if that's what we're matching. Uh, yes. Okay, yeah. So east is two. East is two. Nice. North four, east two. Do we have the others marked, then? You just need one more, basically, and we can just process and elimination it. Uh, yeah, that's one. Red. Oh, wait, did you, did you say you got one? On the cushions? Yeah. Red one. That's the. That does not look anything like that. It, it looks a lot though, different you know, than what's. Yeah, it looks yeah. like a completely different thing, but I know. Yeah. But I don't think. I don't think they would give us false tiles. Okay, well, if that is right, then we actually do have it. Because red. Yes. Because if red is number one, north is four, east is two. Yeah. Red has to be first. And south is green, which means south would be third, which would mean red would be west, right? Uh, <laughs> north. Well, if we have if we have green south, we have north four and east two. Those two are like done. Two then and four yes, done. Then we have all four. So we want to do we want to do west, east, south, north. Let's give it a go. Fuck it. If this isn't right, then it might be Malta's tile, which is like a weird, like red herring. Bait. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. That is a literal. What? Wait, is that a red herring? It's literally a herring, and it's red. Oh yeah, my is, god! Is it though? It looks like a. Isn't that a herring? The one that Maltimo posted. Yeah. That's a. That is. That is a fucking bird. Yeah, herring's a bird. Herring's like a stork. I think it's it's fine. It, it, it's like the logic still checks out, right? No, because if that's a red herring, then we don't have any info on red. And green could be west, the first one. It only works herring, if red herring is, one. is also A herring is also a fish. <laughs> that's why. I, that's what I'm thinking of. What? That's true. Yeah, a herring is a fish, not a bird. So I think we're fine. Yeah. Not a bird? Is it not a bird? I studied I marine science and... for three and a half years. Oh, let's fucking go. All right, we're going for it anyway. You're thinking of a heron. A heron. Oh, I am like, thinking yeah, of a Yeah, a blue heron. Like a, yeah, I'm the, thinking the heron of a heron, you're stuff. right. Yeah, a f yeah, herring's definitely a fish. Well, it still doesn't line up, but we're going to go for it, Jameson. No, it doesn't line up at all, but yeah. Yeah. All right, listen, I was only on three hours of sleep here, so I don't want to hear from any of you ornithologists or ichthyologists giving me a hard time. It's an easy mistake to make. Okay, so apparently, according to the guide... That one's north. This is north. Um, and which one's the one that faces the sun? West. So north, oh, okay. east, south, east, west. Southwest. So right. you want to do west, east, south, north. Give it a go, fuck it. It's melee, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, next one. Uh, okay. West, east, south, north. He's got it. And, and, and. Oh! 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 Yes! Oh! Yep. Uh. Yeah. Yes? Uh, did it work? Hello? I. 
I think that's a no. <laughs> Does that say that's the very, very last step? Yeah, that's the very, very... It doesn't mean we failed the Easter egg. It means we just we do have to restart the round, though. Ah. Oh, what the fuck, man? If that worked, we would have had uh, all the perks. Yeah. God damn it, uh. dude. What, what are we missing, then? I reckon that tile... It's not the owl. So I reckon that tile is literally just, like, to fuck with you. Something else. Yeah. So, yeah, this stupid red heron is obviously a load of bullshit, but the easter egg attempt is alive and well. Some of you out there are probably saying to yourself, wait a minute, can't you just... Yeah, I know, I know. And listen, at the time I was running on three hours sleep, so the simple solution didn't really jump out at me. But thankfully, the Patreons and Jameson were a bit more awake and their brains were working. Do we know for sure east is second and north is last? Yeah. Those are confirmed. Then couldn't we just do what we just did, but flip? No, because the red one red is gone. That was a I, have, I can't edit it because I'm getting chased by zombies. But red is wrong. Oh, I guess. But then shouldn't we just do south oh, south east? What I, yeah, what I mean is like, if we know east is second, north is fourth, then there's only two options, two variations. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry, I'm stupid. I do know exactly what you're saying. I do know yeah. what you're saying. You just switch. Just do the opposite. Right. We would do, so we did east, second, I did west, east, south, north, so yeah. it would be... South, east, west, uh, north. South, east, west, north. Right, yes. I do know what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you just just try it now, dude, fuck it. South, east, west, north, yeah. South, east, west, north. Oh! Hey! You're a genius! Hey! <laughs> You're a genius! Yeah. Why they pay me the big bucks, baby! <laughs> hey, let's go! Let's go, boy! It's just that easy! So that is it for Die Rise for now. GG's to Luminous Rain and Moltamio. Honestly, a pretty easy one. Again, I keep saying it, but it all comes back to the bank. The one wipe we had was essentially a reset on our end by choice. And having unlimited points on round one makes things a little easier, it turns out. Who would have guessed? Take my money! Take my gun! Take my gun. Ah! Yeah, just <laughs> no, yeah, no, no. <laughs> I don't know how to jump and dive out. Just jump yeah, yeah. Like, Joe's just prone. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm alive? How am I alive? What? Wait, what the fuck? Wait, what? I want to die! We're trapped here forever. Get me out of here! All right, well, down the I'm elevator. Die, there, oh, thank God. All right, <laughs> GG, y'all. But moving on, we have Mob of the Dead next, and unfortunately, we do not have a fridge or a bank to come to our help. We're gonna have to do this one the old-fashioned way. Before we get started with Mob of the Dead, I do need to reference the cutscene you see when playing this map solo, because in that cutscene, every character just straight up dies. I made sure Jameson was aware of this because it's definitely relevant to the very beginning of this map. What the? Ooh. So we're dead. Yeah, I'm a ghost. Wait, levitate. Oh shit, I can fly. Oh wow, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Wait, there's a thing at the bottom of my screen that's about to... Yeah, what happens if it just drains? Do we just fail? <laughs> I don't know, you should find out. I'm gonna let it just drain. Oh! Oh, just did it just put you in the body? Yeah, but I'm dead. Okay. Interesting. Who am I? Who am I? I wanna be more careful. Oh, I'm Michael Madsen. I'm Michael yeah. As soon as he spoke, he's like, I wanna be more careful. That's it. <laughs> so this stuff over here, where we were, uh -huh. is this the Easter egg or is this just vanilla? Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Find the warden's key, get the plane parts, build the plane on the roof, get that. This could be the Easter egg, right? Maybe. Um, there's a thing over here. It says, uh, hold F to enter the afterlife. <gasps> oh! Oh, you just <laughs> You just, like, killed yourself. <laughs> So this is called Afterlife. Once per round, you can die and enter a ghostly form, which allows you to zap and power different objects. There's actually no power switch on the map at all. Everything power related is accomplished via Afterlife and the ghostly hand zapping. Afterlife ties in pretty heavily to almost every function of this map. The vending machines have their own zappy power sources. There are portals that only a ghost can enter. You can only enter the Afterlife once per round, and this really changes the way you plan things out and if there's nothing that you want to use your afterlife on for the round it can basically act as a free who's who per round as well it's a pretty fun gimmick honestly i can i kill the zombies 
I think I can. Oh, wait, you can. Wow, it seems really good at killing the zombies. I'm not getting any points, but... Oh, you're not getting any points, okay. That seems good. Oh, shit. Huh. Huh. This is really confusing to begin, I will say. Oh my god! Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa Jesus! Whoa! Whoa! What? Whoa. Whoa. what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> is he like a killer zombie around him type mechanic? I guess. Oh yeah, he's like slurping them up. <laughs> Weird. I think he eats the corpses. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. Good doggy. Uh, yeah, I have no idea why there are wolves coming out of some of these walls or what they mean. All I know is that they're very good boys, they're very hungry, and it's our job to feed them up to grow big and strong. Good boy. Good boy. There's a... what is that up there? I'm just gonna keep feeding the boy. Um, that's a good question. Five cents for... Oh, he's gone. Oh. Oh. Huh. Oh, I heard the guy say there's two more to go. Oh, okay. Interesting. It sounds like there's three of them across the map to feed, so we'll definitely get this done eventually. So I think that looks like one of them is lit up, right? Right, right. You come here after three are done. Ban trap unavailable. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's a... Oh, cool. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Power. Is this a kill yourself spot? It is. <laughs> uh, I'm going to... Zap this thing here. Uh, I think you just have to do it once in the vault, like the yeah. Okay, so you can pick up perks when you're a uh, ghost. That's interesting. So is that literally just for like a free little power up. I guess so. And uh, now, okay. Yeah. So there's a timer in the bottom of the screen. So how come you didn't have to be revived when uh, you did it? Because I just went back to my corpse before the timer ran Ooh, out. Oh, yeah. okay. So if you don't do that, someone has to get back to you. I got you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, this looks like the evil within. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> Where's the chainsaw man? What the? Oh. Oh. The fuck was it? Holy ah! fuck! It is evil oh, within! <laughs> oh, yeah, it is evil within! I died instantly. He just like oh, one shot me. Oh, my God. Me. Holy shit. Hello? Wait, can I deal damage to him oh, as, a, as a ghost boy? <laughs> Fuck you! Oh, he's gone. What the hell was that? I just zapped him and he just instantly vaporized, so... Maybe he comes back? Oh, he's back. He's back. So this chunky boy is called Brutus. For most of Minor Jameson's time exploring Mob of the Dead, we just called them big boys. We don't know where the mystery box is, we're still M14s. Uh... Ow! 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 Right behind the God, fuck! This guy's an <laughs> asshole, man. <laughs> I won't die. Jesus. Whoa, what is all this shit? Oh my god, look at this stuff. Plain parts, shield, acid, gas. Oh kit. my god. Alright, so our first attempt wasn't very good. I will blame it on the very elusive mystery box. The mystery box is actually really hard to find sometimes on this map. A large portion of your time in Mob of the Dead is inside a building. And when you can't see the sky, you can't trace back the mystery box beam. So a lot of the times you're just kind of running around hoping to stumble into it. Actually, finding the mystery box to begin was one of the most difficult parts of this map. But this time we want to try and decipher what this stuff means. You are here, Warden's Key. It looks like the Warden's Key is near. Yeah, I think um, we went down. I think we should have gone up. A soul alone can follow the path. What? See this? Written in blood here. Oh. Here, let me just try something. Can I zap this right here? It looks like you should be able to, right? Hmm. Oh, there's a... Wait, wait, wait. There's a thing up here. Aha. Uh -huh. Shock to overload. Oh, there's a key. I found the key. The key's here. Is a big key. Oh! Okay. Okay, there's more up here. Just a sec. I'm going to keep exploring for a second. Did you just jump up there as the ghost? Yeah. Oh, there we go. I looped around and opened it for you. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Oh, fuck. Uh. Hmm. Is that the warden's office? Oh, wait. There's cables leading this way. Just a sec. Just a sec. Warden's office. Look at all this shit. There's a mission box spot. Jesus, look at this shit. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh my god. Looks like we have to go outside somehow. You're right. Maybe to turn the power off? Because the cables lead out through this window. And then all the way down like huh. to the docks. You can sort of see it goes 
out to the power line and then down. There was a way down to the docks through the tunnels. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I have enough money to use the fan trap. Oh, oh yeah. We try this thing Double points. Points. Well, I can't come back through the uh, thing because the fan is on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, it looks cool, man. Yeah, it looks awesome. Looks awesome, dude. Uh, we should have thought about this better. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Great. <laughs> there goes a thousand bucks. That wasn't the best example of the fan trap. Uh, we did use it again a little later, and it's a little disappointing, to be honest. Oh. I thought that was going to be a bit more dramatic, honestly. Y yeah. Oh shit! Is it good doesn't work? Okay. Is it good doesn't work? I'm, I'm separated from you, so ah. I'll, I'll get to you in a second. I'm running. Okay. Okay, let me buy my Uzi. Oh god, what's that noise? Probably the big boy. It's, I think it's a wolf. Oh! Oh, I got him! Nice. I got him. I don't know if he's the kill help. A wolf kicking off? Fucking hell. Terrific. What is all that noise? I think it's a wolf. Yeah, maybe, eh? Ah, okay. A soul can see the numbers. I think is what it says. Okay. Is there an afterlife thing up here? I'm just gonna... So the green uh, hue, I think, is a part, like we saw in the warden's office. Ah, that'd be nice if they actually, like, made them visible. It looks like a part. Oh, I can open this. But I only have one key. Interesting. And it said the afterlife will show you the numbers. I guess you have to shock these when you're dead. Yeah. I, I spent two grand. Okay. Got expensive doors. Yeah, there's still this door down there that I can open. Oh, jug. Okay. Oh, where the hell's the mystery box? Whoa. This is a big area. Oh, my God. Gondola requires power. Oh. What? Oh, there's the, is that the mystery box way off in the distance there? That red light? You see that up here? Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well. So now I have the warden's key, I can kind of open any doors. Oh, it's not uh, consumed on use? Doesn't seem like it, no. I've opened two doors of it. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I want this thing here. I'm gonna die. Right. Okay. Can't do it like this. Boop. Jug is still uh, powered as well. Okay. Seemingly. Yeah. Oh, wrong thing. It's sort of flickering in and out of existence like it's in Bioshock Infinite, but... Oh, I think I locked the door behind me. Oh, shit. Wait, what? Oh, shit. This thing, like, shut the door and opened this door. Like a weird... Oh, no. I need you here, I think. Okay, just a sec. I'm here. Come in this place here. Come here. Come in here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how to get you out, I'll be honest. <laughs> just shock the thing again. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, you're just about to run out. And then I'll do... Okay. Okay. That's a, a part for something. We need a better weapons. I don't know where the mystery box is. I activated the trap tower to trap myself in a corner. Whoa. Oh, that, oh, that tower... Oh, are you still in the afterlife by chance? I'm not in the afterlife, no, but the tower is sniping people. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. It's a sniper tower. It looks like it could be powered up. Whoa. There's like a... It opened up a... A grate here where... Oh! And, uh, yeah, like... Yeah, just Yeah, closed. I just saw that. Mm -hmm. Should we try and take the gondola and escape? Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here, dude. We're about to die. We are out of here! Ooh! Okay. Cool. And where is this? Michigan... This is hard when you're up here, dude. There's nowhere to go. I'm just running and opening shit up, looking for the mystery box, honestly. Yeah. At this point. <laughs> I've lost you, dude. Yeah. There you are, there you are. Oh my god, this is this map just keeps going. What the fuck? What is that? There's a oh Okay, there's another item. Or parts. Whoa! Another doggy. Yeah, so this map is kind of huge. It's definitely one of the hardest maps to learn to begin. It's full of tight corridors and catwalks. Me and Jameson somehow got split up here and it went bad very quickly. This map is so confusing. Holy shit. It is confusing. Did I just go in a big circle? Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm so fucked. Oh, I'm so fucked. I fell back down to the bottom floor now. Ah. Wait, there's a cafeteria? Oh my god. He oh, I'm fucked. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, there's like a 
secret path for the for the afterlife. Oh shit. It's like uh in the prison walls. What is happening on this map, dude? I have no idea. It's a lot. I, I turned something on. I opened I opened a pa another path to the showers, I think. What? Why? <laughs> I fell, I fell down two floors and, yeah. <laughs> Got pot. Nice. Plane pot. Nice. Quest item plane pot. Oh, I'm back at the very beginning now. Oh, oh for shit. God's sake. I got to a door. I had 6,000 points, but it was power only. I have no idea how to get back to you. <laughs> oh, no, it was power only. Uh... And no one's put you back together. He's training. What? <laughs> I think my grenade you killed kill yourself me. up. <laughs> yeah. Sit down. Yeah. So that that that's the wall uh, pathway that I was running around in uh, last round. You can you can check that out if you I'm want. Gonna, I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna die. You can just. It's probably just a spot. There's a spot just here you can enter the afterlife. I guess it doesn't really matter. Open that. Oh shit. Yeah, so you go in there, yeah. Oh, shit! And then there's a, a thing you can, uh, across the hall, that you can overload to lower a key, probably, to get into the cafeteria. Oh, what the hell is going on? This is crazy. Okay. I don't know what that did. This is cool. It's a little platforming section. That. Here, I'm going to enter the afterlife oh. here. And I think there's a... I'm probably just going to levitate up to it. Yes, yeah, there's a spot here right above you. And then I can lower this. There's another key. Yeah, that's probably for the cafeteria. The master key. I think it's like a uh, skeleton key, honestly. So it looks like there's two keys, right? One in each direction. Yeah, yeah, that's what it seems like. I actually think we were wrong about this. I think the key just spawns in one of two places, and by chance we kept going in the right direction. It also seems like the key is shared between players and has well, unlimited uses. So it kind of feels a little bit like a pointless mechanic, but hey, I shouldn't complain about zombies being nice for once. Door needs power. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, that's where I died last time. Right, right, okay. See the little symbol on the thing? Oh. Hmm. So you reckon I can just, like, zap that? Oh! I think it, I think it will that I think these on the wall means there's a portal here and you can just walk through this wall. That's what I presume, but it is sort of a dead end. You're right. Oh. Oh. So maybe that'll lead back to the oh, roof. Oh shit! It goes into the roof. Ah, okay. No uh, fucker! Fuck off! No fuck off! What am I doing up here? I don't know. Is there a way for you to open the pathway oh. or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm d I'm dead, so I can't do anything. Uh, I can go back. Go, 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 go. <sighs> nice. Woo! God, that's so obnoxious. Okay. Getting stuck on a zombie, ugh. Yeah, so that is how you go into the roof. I'm going to the roof. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. It looked open up here. Oh, wait, is this the mystery box? I don't know, but I see it. I think so. Oh, and look, this is where the... Hold... Wait, 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 I'm adding a plane part, just a sec. Oh, you're making the plane. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, this, yeah, the roof seems, oh, nope. The, nope, the mystery box is way the fuck over there still. Big boy. Yeah, I'm here. How did I kill him so quickly last time? I, Maybe, um... I think you're right, the insta-kill might have helped. He dead. Nice, okay. You got some health. Hold F to open. Have we ever been in here? What's this? Probably not. Laundry and machine for your past sins cannot wash clean what i don't know but it sounds like there's a part in there yeah probably eh okay okay i assume that's gonna give us a part hold f to activate laundry machine okay sure turn it on baby okay so what's happening over there just the washing machine's doing its spin cycle it's doing oh it's open and there's a part all right makes sense makes sense i got a plain part it's a like a shirt <laughs> okay we didn't do this part here. Yeah. So I could enter the afterlife. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Four. Okay, one of them says four. That one, three. Yeah. These are just levels. Oh, four, three, eight. Okay. Maybe zap the numbers. Uh, the numbers are not, they're all just zero. Oh, I see. So, okay, each time you zap, it goes up. So four, yeah. three. 
Eight. Eight? Okay. Oh, ding a -ling, maybe. That's pretty simple. That was easy. Just gone down a level. Okay, I'm reviving. Uh, it sounds like something's on a timer. Uh, oh, shit, I'm, I'm running towards somewhere. I'm coming. Uh, uh, I got it. Nice, okay. There's another uh, room down here that we did not go into. This one, we did not go in here. So this looks like one of the things you can overload. Yeah, shock to overload. Uh, these look like big generators. I'm about to faint, dude. I know. You don't have any afterlife left, do you? No, there's a spot here in the wall. Shit. Oh, wait, there's another wolf here. Oh, weird. Oh, yeah. Oh. Huh. All right, the great afterlife run. Here we go. All right, you got it, I think. Let's see. So I can shock this and that. Oh, there's a... Oh, my God, there's shit over here. Okay, wait. And I can shock that. Is that it? Did it do something? Uh, I have no idea. Oh, yeah. There, there were three of them. Okay, I blew that up. Nice. So I wonder what that did, blowing up that generator. No idea, dude. Huh. I feel like we've we've achieved a lot except for finding the mystery box, like the most <laughs> fundamental yeah. thing. It's like, yeah. beat the game, beat the whole map, find the half the Easter, or uh, like all the parts, and just be like... We're gonna build the plane before finding the mystery box. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna add these parts. Yeah. We're only missing, look at that. We're only missing two that. parts, so that's good. We know where one of them, oh, I forgot to, that was, I knew there was another thing. I had to shock the uh, the gate to open that, to get the propane tank. I forgot to do that. Oh, and the last part is in the warden's office that we never figured out how to turn the electricity oh, off. Oh, maybe, to. maybe you just did that, question mark? Oh yeah, maybe, yes, yeah, yeah. Like the dog stuff? Yeah, I think you might be right. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Yeah. Oh yeah, the power is off, dude. So that is it, guys. That is all right five here. plain parts found. I mean, we don't currently have all five. <gasps> Mystery box! Oh, nice. It's here. Uh, that was a bit of a rude interruption, but hey, it's good to see the mystery box again and with a fancy new design. Oh, nice. Nice, we're back, baby. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Whoa, yeah, I saw some crazy shit in there. Fuck this, man. Yeah. Fuck this fucking game. You know what? I didn't actually miss this thing at all. So at this point, all we needed to do was to get the part from the dock that we already previously figured out. And then we're ready to get this plane built. Craft plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah! Okay. Now what? Now what? How do we get on it? Wait, it, says, it said something. Oh, yeah. But, uh, hold F to begin takeoff sequence. Oh! I'm on! <laughs> Look, get the hell out of here! Oh, would you like shoot the gas tanks and it like... Do you have to do something? I don't think so. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh, it's just like some Kevin McAllister stuff. Whee! Whee! Damn! We finally escaped Alcatraz! <laughs> oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh god. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, Golden Gate Bridge. Uh-oh. We're gonna crash right into it? Ah! ah! Oh fuck! Oh! Oh shit! New map! Wait! <laughs> Wait, what? With the Golden Gate, baby? Huh. Huh. Wait, is this how you get a pack a punch? Oh, there goes the plane. Oh! <laughs> that was the plane? Was yeah. Sure. No one escapes alive. Uh-oh. Oh, damn. Well, that's not good. Maybe this is just like, you've, this is, you know, the final stand. This is the final stand? Uh-oh. I hear a big boy. It's fireworks. Ooh. Uh oh, big boy. Big boy alert. Big boy alert. I'm sure you'll be alright. Look at the LMG. Oh, you can shoot his helmet off. Oh, right. And that, and then he kills him really quickly. Okay. That's fun. You just sort of like escape and then hold out on a different... Oh, wait, wait, wait. What is this? I don't know where you are. <laughs> come, come back. There's electric chairs here. I'll kill. Oh, okay. oh, damn. I think we should just get on him. Big boy. There's two of them. Uh-oh. Oh, Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm getting in! Yeah, 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 go, go, go. Uh-oh. I'm in. Whoa. I'm on! What the fuck is happening here? <laughs> I don't know. What? Uh, wait, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> wait, what? Wait. Was that just like a loop? What the fuck? 
No, we're back, dude. We're back. No! No. Do you reckon we're doing the Easter egg? Like what, how, what, I don't how know. How could you fit another thing into this map, you know what I mean? Yeah. But since we were back in the prison, we thought we might as well feed the three puppy dogs and see what happens. We already did the one at the dock during our journey here, and we quickly did the one in the central starting cell block, so we only had one last one to do. Oh, here's a mystery box. <gasps> no way. Let's go! Damn! Whoa! Shit. What is that? It's the death Damn. machine. Holy- Forever? Uh... Yeah, it's just my prime- oh, It's a, one of my two guns now. It slows my movement speed way down, but... Damn. Oh my god, double tap death machine? <laughs> 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 it just sounds like the freaking get. Wow, it reloads in like one second. What? Oh my god, fuck <laughs> off, man. <laughs> I've got that three times. Oh, wow. God, I hate the mystery box in this game. I'm not sure to buy wall weapons forever. Oh Gray. my god. Gray. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Look how long it takes to reload, okay? I'm hitting it now, and it's back up. <laughs> oh, damn. You just put it to your side and pull it back up, and it's reloaded. Wow. Okay. I, was done. I was done. Oh, that was it. Okay, well. <laughs> oh, oh, what the hell is this? Oh, weird. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. I got a hatchet. Is that like a melee weapon? It's four to throw. Oh, yeah. Four to throw the retriever. What do we do with this? Uh, it's gone. Lost it. Oh, yeah. You throw it once. Oh, wait, wait. I think it recharges. Huh. Oh, yeah. Like, bounces back and you have to wait. Oh, that was the last guy. Ah. This is the one. This is the one. This is the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yay! Yes, it was the one. We did it. Uh-oh. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. 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 Goodbye. This thing is insane. Find you. Hey, you take the stairs. Watch you over here. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh, damn! The axe bounces between people. So what do you think the hatch is for? I don't know. It seems pretty good though. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, I can't say I understand what's up with feeding three wolves to get a boomerang hell hatchet thing, but this thing is pretty sick, honestly. We also noticed that all five of the plane parts have been transformed into gas cans. None of them are locked behind doors. They're very easily accessible. The plane is just back on the roof somehow. And you just have to refuel it five times and you can get on it and go to the Golden Gate Bridge again. So we thought, why not? We didn't really spend long there last time and we were pretty sure we must have missed something. While doing this, I did pick up the new perk bottle on the map, which is called Electric Cherry, which was definitely very confusing initially. What the? I just zapped electricity out of myself. What's happening to me? Maybe you just randomly shoot electricity out of your toes? I, I don't know. We were obviously a little confused by what this does, but it creates an electric shockwave around you whenever you reload. And I believe this just stuns adjacent zombies. Honestly, it's fucking annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we got the plane going again, and not to really skip over our second Golden Gate visit, but we didn't really figure anything new out. We tried chucking the tomahawk at certain things, expecting something to maybe happen, but yeah, no such luck this time. But everything you've seen so far is from our first ever session in Mob of the Dead, and I think we've done a pretty good job of discovering stuff. Oh, and it did take us almost two hours to realize we weren't actually killing the zombies in Afterlife. When you zap them, it seems like you're simply relocating them. I am zapping. I think the zapping doesn't kill them. I think it just like relocates them. Oh shit, really? I think I just saw that happen. I'm so f I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm coming back. I don't think I was helping as much as I thought I was. I have died. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like teleporting them to a different area. Yeah, I think you're right. I thought I was <laughs> really helping. but Yeah, they were actually because I think they were being teleported to basically where I was. I'm getting in the electric chair, fuck this. 
I would imagine this mechanic is so you can disperse enemies from around your body and revive yourself safely. I really thought I was helping here, but I don't think I was at all. But yeah, that is the end of day one of our exploration. Mob of the Dead was one of the maps that people wanted to see us try and do as much as possible without a guide. Not to get too far ahead, but I have had a look at the Easter Egg Guide for Mob of the Dead, and yeah, there was no way we ever would have figured this one out. But I think we did a pretty decent job of getting a chunk of it done with no guide whatsoever. But I'm sure you guys are aware that we still have a lot to find in Mob of the Dead. Let's get into day two. The first thing we wanted to see is what happens if you charge up the sniper tower. I, I don't like to spend my points, but this is apparently an exclusive weapon, so I kind of have to. A Tommy gun. Oh, okay. How much is it? 15. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's classic. You gotta show that off. Yeah. When you activated it last time, I think that's what opened up the panel. So you have to pay for it and then die? Well, I can. There's an afterlife thing right here. Right. Whoa, Jesus. Okay, this gun seems uh, really good, actually. It's got a lot of rounds in it as well. Well, why don't I try this out sure. while you do that? It comes with 400 rounds. A thousand bucks. Okay. Okay, trap is active. Also, it's good as well. Oh, yeah, wow. He's too good. Whoa! He's shooting rockets! <laughs> oh. He's changed to an RPG tower. I shocked the tower. Yeah, he's shooting RPGs. He's okay. an RPG tower. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Body just went flying. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. My bad, I couldn't see. Dude, that's crazy cool. One thing we also missed is building the zombie shield, and after we were pretty rude to it in transit, I think it deserves another try. Oh, 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 uh, I got it. It's like a giant grate. That is yeah. correct, yeah. Additional parts required. This is not the one. So what is this for, then? I have no clue. Well, the only other workbench I know is the one which is by Cherry, Electric Cherry. So this was the beginning of almost an hour of confusion as we tried to build the shield on this map. We just couldn't figure this out. None of the workbenches seem to want any of these parts. All right, so this should take us right to the Sour Cherry or whatever it's called. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Let's get this <laughs> Hey, man. Uh, and you can walk if you want. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I really thought you were in. No, you're up in the in the infirmary area. That's that's like many thousands of dollars to get out of there. Uh, I can, I can just fall, but... Oh, right, right, right. One of us needs is this the workbench? Wait! This is not it. Really? Where the fuck do we build the shield? Uh, hmm. All right, I'm sitting on this acid trap, dude. Sure. Oh, shit. Oh, look at that. Does it deal? Di Can I run it? Okay, yeah, that hurts. It hurts. Okay. <laughs> I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> you're good. You're good. You actually might be safe to. <laughs> Whew. Okay. I just you revived me in the acid and it just instantly knocked me. Oh, you just stuck in that? <laughs> I'm crawling out. I'm crawling out. <laughs> that actually seems like a good trap. That does seem like a good trap. Like the area of it is huge. This actually seems like a really good farming area. Yeah. That's powerful. It's a nice loop. Damn. A thousand bucks for that? That's uh, you know. It's not bad for a trap. It's not bad. Not to spoil the upcoming easter egg, but let's just say we will come to love the cafeteria and this acid trap even more in the future. Also, we did get a little better at finding the mystery box this time around. We're gonna find like- oh, oh, Jameson, look, I can see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Found a spot. Hmm. Oh, just, just ended. Oh, I didn't see it. <laughs> I hate nukes. Um, so it's down that way. It looks almost like the cafeteria. Wait, wait, wait. We can pop outside and see. Is it in the building? It's in the building. Okay. And there she is. Ooh. What'd you get? Death machine. Oh, nice. You can hold a right trigger, a right click, and it will keep it spun up as well. Oh, big boy's coming. He's going to get absolutely destroyed. Yep. He's dead. <laughs> and there are a few cheeky spots in the ceiling you can look for the beam as well. Oh, I see it. See the beam? Oh, do you? Yeah. Uh, I don't have a compass, so I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's this way. Okay. I'll, I'll go up to the infirmary. Or maybe it's in the cafeteria. Is there a spot? Yeah, it's in, uh, in the cafeteria. Okay. Yeah. We also learned that Brutus does not like the mystery box whatsoever. Oh, he's on me. Oh, he's... He's destroying the mystery box. He just destroyed the mystery box. Did he actually? Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> I got a very oh, sloppy POV of that, but he just walked up and hit it with his with his club. I have to pay two grand to unlock it. Oh, wow. I could provide myself as well, but thank you. 
That's crazy. Oh god, another one. He's still here. He's behind. He's coming through. I thought I killed him. <laughs> you did it again, you bastard. <laughs> wow. God damn it. Rude. Oh, four grand. Jeez. That's, that's brutal, man. At this point, we were convinced we couldn't build the shield because we were on easy mode for exploration purposes. So to end, we committed seppuku and decided to head out to finally build the shield. The dog is slowly killing me. Wait, the dog deals damage? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A tiny bit. Additional parts required. What the fuck's going on? What? Is this bugged? Like, what, what's happening? I don't know. The internet said that... The, the, all the workbenches are interchangeable. Well, maybe, what if you have to like start with a specific part? Uh, I have... It, like, do it in order as it appears on the uh, recipe menu, maybe? Yeah, I'm try trying the dolly. But you can pick up multiple parts, they're all just there. Oh. Yeah. Wait a minute, does one person have to have all of them? Oh, you have to have every part at once. Ah, uh, okay. And then it builds it, that's why. I don't know why they would change that, but okay. So yeah, this was definitely very confusing to us to start, but I do think this is definitely a better system overall. It seems like you can hold multiple parts for these buildables at once, which does save you running backwards and forwards from a workbench. But you really can't blame us for being confused when they completely change the rules of a system from one map to another. Oh, now you can bash with it. Yeah! Rockets! Oh, Rocket tower. I'm, I'm going around. I'm bashing, man. Damn it, this guy's too good. Yes. Whoa! <laughs> Wait, this is... This is good. <laughs> what the... They go flying! Huh. He's got a break, right? Because what's the counter? <laughs> Dude, this is fucking funny! Oh, wow. Oh, my God! Yeah. <laughs> they get wow. yeeted to the moon. Dude, this is amazing. Fit for mercy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's getting broken. It just degrades if you use it as a melee weapon. Ah, uh, okay. That, that, that makes sense. Yeah, it does make sense, yeah. It's for, like, but you're in a corner emergency scenario. <laughs> That's great. Whee! Oh, yeah, mine just broke. Yeah. It's fine, I can just get the shield again. Yeah! This thing's awesome, man. How do we ever hate on this? We're so stupid. I mean, you can just come back and get the shield, so that's that's pretty good. Yeah. I, could you bash on transit? Maybe. I think people said you could, but I'm I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, the shield rules. You guys were right. It is awesome. So that is it for exploration in Mob of the Dead. Now, some of you might be saying. Wait a minute, Joe, you dumb, stupid bitch. You've missed a bunch of stuff. You've missed the Golden Spork. You've also missed upgrading Hell's Retriever. And yes, that was a really rude way to put it, but you are right. But achieving those two specific things, the Golden Spork and upgrading Hell's Retriever, requires doing some steps which are already a part of the Easter egg. So I thought, why not try a God run? Why not try to not only accomplish the Easter egg, but to also get the Golden Spork and upgrade Hell's Retriever in a single run. And with just the two of us. Oh, uh, yeah, this should be interesting. Let's get into Pop Goes the Weasel. The start of Pop Goes the Weasel involves yet again getting Hell's Retriever by feeding the three doggies and doing a Golden Gate Bridge loop. I'm mostly going to skip over this since you guys have already seen this process, but Jameson did get something quite interesting from the mystery box while we were doing this. Oh, I got the mystery box, the special the crazy shotgun. Oh, shit. Huh. Oh, it's a single shot. Oh, okay. We haven't ever seen that before. Wow. Yeah, it's like a Doom super shotgun, honestly. Actually, the mystery box was weirdly very kind to us this run, and praise be, there are zero steps which require mystery box weapons. Thank you, Treyarch, we finally got there. Maybe that's why people actually like this map. Ha! <laughs> Mini death machine. <laughs> nice, alright. Oh, got Raygun, let's go. Hey, nice. I will take it, mate. The first unique step in this Easter egg was to hit five blue skulls with Hell's Retriever. This step was a little confusing when we just could not see where the skulls were. So for your one, it just says sitting on an edge when going to the left corner furthest from the roof entrance. Okay, okay. I think I know what that means. Sitting on an edge. Next to the starting room on the way to the Cerberus head in a lit up jail cell with a regular skull on the table. 
Uh, I feel like I see that, but I don't see the skull. Yeah, I don't... Uh, how do you throw the... Four. Oh! We're gonna um, this sure. There was a skull there. It's just invisible. Oh, maybe you see them in Afterlife or something. Because they're blue. Hmm. Okay, read the description for the roof one one more time. Uh, it is on the roof, sitting on an, an edge when going to the left corner furthest from the roof entrance. I mean, there's a lot of ledge on the roof. Uh, yeah, I... Uh, so mine was just on a bed. Uh, outside the warden's office on a utility pole when looking out the window next to Speed Cola. It is recommended to not board up this window beforehand. Or it's not. Um, on a utility... I'd imagine here. This one? I got it. <laughs> God. All right. Okay. Yeah. I don't. I don't see anything up here for this one. Up the wall next to Juggernaut on a lamppost up the hill. It's this one, right? It's not that one. So it must be this one over here. It's definitely this one. I got it, baby. All right. Nice. Three. And the docks on the third leftmost pillar. Leftmost pillar. Of oh, <laughs> that is so stupid. Okay, I see it. Ah. Th this one? I don't know where my zombie ran off ah, to. Okay, I got I got oh. four of them. Yeah, it was. Uh, it's not actually on the roof area. It's like on the sort of farther off the roof area. Yeah, yours uh, was a bit vague. I got it though. I got it. All right, that is all five. Okay. Next up is to create the last buildable on the map, which we haven't got to yet. This is the Acid Gat Kit. It is basically a transformative piece of machinery which evolves the Blunder Gat. It's the left of the mystery box. Oh, okay. All three parts. I see yes, it got it. All right. It's part okay. Of so I'd imagine you go to a workbench. There's one up by Electric Yeah, cherry. I can do the one by uh, Electric Cherry. Yeah. And imagine, I mean, you've got the blunder of whatever. I'd imagine it would do something. Let's see. <laughs> this thing is Hold F to convert home. blunder gat into acid gat. Ooh. Okay. It's crafting it. You've got the boy? Yeah. yeah okay. Take your converted. Ooh, look at this. It's a new weapon, baby. Nice. It's got three bullets now. Nice. Whoa, it's like a little... Oh, fuck. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, shit. Okay, wait, let me get a sh better shot of that. Oh, my God. This thing's... Okay, this seems very good. Nice. It shoots like... It does like a little... Of acid, and then the bullets all explode acid. Ooh. In like an AoE explosion. Uh, so that seems good. Next is to throw a hatchet at a movie poster, which will reveal a new afterlife portal. I think is this? Yeah, go for it. Oh, it is. Okay, I'm gonna give it a go. I don't know if this is right yet. I just, I think my zombie just respawned. That was weird. Yeah, it's not right. How do I get? How do I get there? Oh, it's here. Oh. Then you zap a spoon in here. Oh. Oh, I see it. <laughs> I'm zapping the. Oh, I think I did it. Yeah. I zapped yep. a spoon and there were some crazy noises. Maniacal laugh. Okay. And then you throw the hatchet at another spoon that is in the cafeteria. There's a barrier. Throw it at the barrier? Oh, I see the spoon. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think throw it at the spoon? I, right? That sounded like it. And this replaces your knife with a spoon as a melee weapon. It wasn't until I was editing this video that I was able to slow the footage down and see that, yeah, we actually are just swinging a spoon around. Which is kind of cool, <laughs> I guess. Now, this is where we go off script from the Easter Egg Steps. It's time to try and get Jameson the Golden Spork, which is an evolution of the spoon that we just acquired. Step one is depositing the current spoon into this bathtub up in the infirmary. So there's a bathtub filled with blood across from the mystery box in the same room. Yeah, apparently you just hit action on it. Yep, okay, my spoon is floating into the bathtub. All right. Now you have to kill 50 to 70 enemies in the shower room until we hear a laughter. Oh my god. While Jameson is doing that, I'm going to try and do the first step towards upgrading Hell's Retriever, which is simply killing 10 to 15 zombies with the hatchet. Getting a little confusing here, we're trying to juggle a bunch of things at once. It almost seems to like sort of act like a monkey a little bit. Really? I don't. I don't know. I, that was weird. I do like how fire and forget it is. This 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 is probably the best zombie gun so far in terms of just raw killing power. Like it's kind of nuts. 
Okay, hopefully I get it midway through here. Yeah. I should have just paid attention to my kill count. I'm at 223 oh, right now. There is a kill count. I forgot about that. I completely forgot about that, yeah. I'm not going to show this whole thing because we went a little too far here. We actually did four whole rounds uh, because we weren't keeping track of Jameson's kills. And we didn't hear any sort of confirmation that we had completed this step. Even when I was editing this, I didn't notice anything. But at a certain point, we just felt like it must have been enough. Okay, I'm just gonna stop for a second. I'm at, I've gotten 40 already in this round. Okay, maybe we missed. I was the... at 223 and I'm at 262. So that, that I'm surely have gotten it right. What is the what is the thing that should You'll happen? Go I should the... go back up. Yeah, to the bathtub. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And I think if you could enough, it would give you a spoon. Yeah, there is so much noise all the time and so many little chimes yeah, and brutish music stingers. yelling and stomping. So yeah, maybe we yeah. did laugh, we just didn't hear it. It's very very likely. Yeah. <gasps> the golden spoon! Yeah, well done! It's actually a spork. Yeah, sorry, it is a spork. That thing got it. does 10,000 damage a melee hit, by the way. What? <laughs> yeah, it's like 10 times the gavel. That's think. insane. So yeah, one god run step done. Next up isn't a very interesting part. We have to do the golden gate plane loop two more times over. This is a bit of a slow and repetitive part of the easter egg with a lot of running backwards and forwards, but visiting the Golden Gate Bridge does give me a nice chance to try and do step two of upgrading Hell's Retriever. The next step, as far as I wrote it down anyway, is to kill at least 30 zombies during a single round on the Golden Gate Bridge with the hatchet and the hatchet only. No bullets are allowed to be fired. This is where I would really have to master the art of training. Jameson used this opportunity to take the acid gat to the next level. Okay. Vitriolic withering is what this gun is now called. Cool. Fuck off, Brut No, Brutus has way more health than 10, 8, 10, 10k. Oh, are you trying to hit him? You're crazy. I wanted to try meleeing him. Yeah, fair, fair. I don't think there's enough zombies for me to do the step, dude. Uh, your eight shot. No, 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 no. Fuck me. Why the fuck did the steam <laughs> overlay just open? What the fuck, man? All right, well, I failed because I shot my gun in a panic. Ah, great. I thought you were going to die. I know, yeah. I, my steam overlay just opened. Like, right, we'll try it one more time. Fuck it. Okay. We're kind of, fuck we, me. You got this, man. Whoa, that looks crazy. Meat grinder. 550 rounds in the magazine, 550 in the pocket. I'm just going to focus on Brutus. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And now I'm not going to kill anyone else. Uh, what was I on? I forgot. Like 200-ish. I follow your train. Damn, Rick. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> Watch out for the crawler. I, I'm, st I'm stuck on you. Okay. Yeah, the player collision fucking sucks. Yeah. We're getting good. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a lot of them, man. This is the best training we've ever done by miles. Look at this shit. Yeah, this is good. We're learning. You should be there. You were at 204, now you're at 238. Hmm. So that's more than 30. Well, maybe it's because uh, the round hasn't finished, right? I need to, like, prove I didn't shoot my gun or something. Maybe. Yeah, no, just, no, just keep going. Just keep going. Fuck it. Like, we're just, we're just vibing out here. All right, I say get it down to one zombie. I'm not going to shoot the okay. whole time. Oh, shit, shit, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Ah! Oh, no. I got fucking stuck, no. dude. The thing I'm worried about is, like, did we need to finish the round before I shot my gun? Right. I panic shot my gun at the end there. Yeah, yeah. The third step for upgrading Hell's Retriever would have been to throw the hatchet into this lava pit here. And I believe the way to know if this worked is the hatchet does not come back to you. And yeah, I could tell at this point that we hadn't done something correctly. And I think it's pretty obvious that it was me shooting my gun in that one panicked moment. Also, there was another factor we didn't realize that would have caused us to fail this step anyway. Anyway, but we'll get to that part shortly on our next visit since we still have to do one more plane loop. Anyways, I will be honest here, having to refuel the plane three times over is pretty tiresome. We had got into a good rhythm at this point. It might seem like I'm skipping over big chunks of time in our attempt here. Uh, but yeah, there wasn't a whole lot of drama going on, just a lot of running around. Also, a cheeky reminder that the full two-hour journey of this attempt is up for the Patreons exclusively. We're obviously not at the finish line yet, but I will say that this has been one of mine and Jameson's better zombie moments, I'd say. Anyway, we did yet another hatchet only round on the golden gate a nice clean one this time i made sure to fully remove my finger from the left mouse button just to be safe okay yeah you got like 50 kills there so all right 
at least, if not like 80. We finish around here, and then we just got to survive another one, and we can just spam acid the entire time. Yeah, I have 16,000, so. Yeah. You're not shooting, remember. Don't shoot. I'm not shooting. Okay. Okay. If that doesn't work, then I don't know, dude. Yeah, who knows. Oh, and this is the part where we discover just how amazing the cafeteria room is to hold out in. Also, Jameson's build was just kind of ridiculous at this point as well. Uh, it's just coming back, dude. But maybe I'm- what if I'm doing this step wrong? Yeah, you're very pot- I mean, you can, you know, do some googling. I'm gonna do some googling. So yeah, this still was not working for me. Uh, I think what happened here is you have to finish the round on the Golden Gate Bridge. We didn't know this. We were just trying to be super efficient here. Again, I take the blame for not doing enough research on this. Yeah, it didn't work for us, dude. Fuck. We tried, man. We really we tried. We certainly tried. We tried yeah. for the god run so bad. We just... So yeah, you gotta like do what exactly what we did, but I guess finish the round on the Golden Gate and not... Okay. ...back here. Fuck, dude. I mean, whatever. We can we can get that. Damn it. it was a, yeah, if we finish this, it would still be an amazing run for us. Yeah, yeah. A huge moment, honestly. At this point, I'm too scared of breaking the Easter egg sequencing to do yet another Golden Gate Bridge loop. And the one last visit we actually do have to the Golden Gate Bridge in this Easter egg is a little different. So yeah, unfortunately guys, the God Run was a fail. We did not get Hell's Retriever upgraded during this run. We really tried. We really sweated our asses off trying to make this happen, but... I'll take the blame here, it was a bit of sloppy research on my end, but nevertheless, let's get this easter egg finished. The next step is entering four different three digit codes into the zappy tunnel dial thing. 101? Yeah, 101. 101. The next one is 481, just gonna line you up. 101. Do I do it? Well, then what? Uh, did anything happen? I have no idea. Uh, try Okay, what's the next, what's, what's the second number? 481. Okay. 386. Okay. 872. I did it. Ah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm coming back. Huh. Do you have to do something else? Like, I don't know. You have to take these guys, because I don't know why... That hasn't worked. Like, I just put the number, like... I don't know, there didn't seem to be any way to sort of, like, confirm anything, yeah. or... Do you reckon the Golden Spork broke the Easter egg? Ha! <laughs> That'd be, uh, very Call of Duty, wouldn't it? Oh, no. Yeah, this was not great. Uh, what followed next was ten confusing minutes of me reading and rereading the Easter egg steps, and having no idea what we missed. Until one thing did occur to me. You know what we should do? Mm. Uh, you should go, or I should go pick up the blunder get from the table, because we didn't do that because you already had it. No, we didn't. Maybe yeah. that's what's fucked things up. Yeah, you'll have to pick it up. Sure, sure, I I'll go get one. it. That's the only thing I can think of. I hadn't mentioned this yet, but at some point during the Easter egg, a blunder get had spawned in the warden's office for us to take. But we never bothered doing this because Jameson had already gotten one from the mystery box. I got the blunder gat. I'm hearing like a ticking clock now all of a sudden. Oh. I guess it's because like, maybe a, did I- Did you just pick the- I did, yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of weird noises. Yeah. That started as soon as you picked up oh. the blunder. Yeah. It's, the numbers are clicking down here. Interesting. Huh. So yeah, not picking up the blunder gat is the step we missed. Simply because Jameson naturally got it in the mystery box and I very stupidly assumed that that would be good enough. I'm just going to blame this one on the mystery box yet again. But it seems like picking this up has got things back on track. Sort of. The numbers aren't like randomly changing down here, which scares me a little bit, but we'll see what happens. Hmm. Maybe it's different for your ghost POV. No, they're still doing a bunch of random shit, but I'll just ignore it. It's 101. Remember to keep an eye on your timer. 481. I'm just doing it as fast as possible. Yeah, Three. and I'm, I'm trying to do the revive thing. 86. Uh, oh. 
Fuck, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Nah, I've gotta go all the way around. Fuck, I fucked it. Fuck. Oh, okay. I don't know if I got it, dude. The ticking stopped. Maybe we did do it. Okay, this is a little sketchy to get this revive. Yeah, it is a bit sketchy. Maybe just kill one? Oh, God, man. And then just carry one miles away. Because if I die, die, you gotta, you have to do another round. Yeah, no, no, I got you. Hey, your quick revive's not on this map. No, it's fine, we're good. <laughs> All right, I'm going back to get Jug. Well, the ticking stopped. It did stop. It was really confusing, I'll be honest, because some of the numbers, that clicking was the numbers changing themselves. Yeah. Which made it really disorientating. That's very odd. Yeah, this step was really confusing. Uh, when I do my research on guides for the Easter eggs, I stick strictly to text-based guides, and I don't watch video guides. And I don't think I'm going to change that either going forward. Uh, I understand that text guides are obviously less effective than videos, but I feel like that leaves room for surprise for me, and it leaves some gaps where we still have to do some figuring out ourselves. And I just think that's more fun and interesting. But anyway, the point I'm trying to get at here is I was just a bit muddled and confused when trying to put the numbers in. I didn't know what I was doing or what I was looking for. I think maybe I was entering the numbers too fast, and I kind of choked the last number, to be honest, as well. But yeah, with this not working, we are out of afterlife attempts, so it's back to our trusty cafeteria we go. Round 20, man. Sheesh. Yeah, that's cool. That it, it, like, causes the zombies to run towards the acid shots. Oh, nice. You just shoot, like, on the ground? You what you're saying? Yeah, basically. All right, 101. Okay, yeah. I'll let you concentrate. One oh one. Uh nothing happened. Uh I don't know what's happening here. I'm gonna try eight seven two. Maybe this is like one we haven't done. Maybe. Oh, like A72 did something. Okay, just remember to keep an eye on oh, your thing. That was the one we hadn't done, it's done. Revive me, revive me! <sighs> My name is oh. Whoa, 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 yeah. what's going on? This is the next step. I... Okay, just a sec. Oh, not you done. Fuck. All right. That's fine. We, we got it. All right, we got it. Story is happening. Can't hear any of it. Don't give a shit. So yeah, it seems like I had successfully done three out of the four numbers last time, but this time the numbers weren't doing their crazy, weird flickering and changing, so I don't know. I feel like we might have broken something last time, uh, but whatever. It's done, and now we're in a long story-based section. We, of course, didn't listen to anything, but for this step, you are just listening to lore and then finding a new headset-looking power-up to trigger even more lore to ignore. You do this five times, and that's another step done. We're almost there. It's been a two-hour run for us, but the last step is to get on the plane while in Afterlife and then enter the electric chair at the Golden Gate Bridge one last time. All right, I'm running to the plane. Hopefully we didn't have to refuel it. Uh, I'm not getting any board prompts. Oh, I'm on, I'm oh, on, I'm on. Yes! There was no prompt. Yeah, oh yeah, I forgot to say there was no prompt, my bad. Okay, well I was spamming it, we're good, we're good. And you're on too. I'm on too. And the last step is to get to the electric chair. Okay, we should be fine. We're not going to have any shit, are we? I don't know. Oh, we're, it looks like Ooh. the timer's not decreasing, so that's good. Ooh, this music's cute. Ooh. We're, like, recreating our escape attempt. We've been trapped in purgatory, and... Yeah. Now we're freeing ourselves, finally. Yeah, and our body should be over here. Oh, yeah! <laughs> and then we revive ourselves. Okay. Hey! hey! I presume that's it? I don't know. <laughs> that is... Pop goes the weasel? That is the end, I believe. Oh, yeah, by the way... Oh. Um, <laughs> uh, what happened? It's, it's PvP, by the way. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's PvP. We're done, right? We're, we're fully we good. Are, we are done. I think I'm in trouble okay, good here. Luck. <laughs> 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 no, that wasn't fair. I just really wanted to make sure there, because it was a very one-sided fight. God <laughs> damn it. No fair. Oh, God. Oh, GG's bad. GG's. <sighs> GG's. Well, that was pretty successful. So that's it, guys. Pop goes the weasel done. First attempt with just two of us while attempting two other weapon upgrade mini quest things. 
Definitely Mining Jameson's best run to date. The PvP battle at the end was kind of weird. Uh, maybe that's more dramatic and cool with four people. I don't know. But all that is left is the one thing we fail to do, which is upgrading Hell's Retriever. So here we are, the last task in Chapter 5. Jesus Christ, this video has taken forever. I've already explained three of the steps to upgrading Hell's Retriever, but here they are again as a refresher. I'm also going to be skipping over most of the setup here, since yet again we have to make the plane and feed the three dogs. But I did discover a new function of the hatchet that I was not aware of. <laughs> oh, wow. I just got an insta-kill <laughs> with the hatchet. <laughs> Didn't know that could happen. Oh, it picked it up. Yeah, what the fuck? That's fun. So we're back on the Golden Gate, and this time we did finish the round on the bridge, and we actually did hear some sort of confirmation sound. There you go. I did. I did hear a noise. It was a strange noise. I did hear like a, a weird sort of hissy sound. Yeah, yeah, that was unusual. So all we have to do now is survive this round and get back to the prison. So we're just. Oh, shit. Ah. Excuse me. Excuse me. You're blocking all my bullets. Sorry. 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 <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, okay. Sorry, yeah, that you just happened to like run right in front of me the whole time there and I couldn't I was shooting him in the head with an LSAT, he just wouldn't die. Yeah. Oh, I'm in trouble now because uh, I don't have Jug anymore. I'm, I'm a, I spawn stuck in a corner. Okay, that's, that's great. That's fun. I just go ham, dude. Yeah, I'm trying to reload my gun and actually can't because there's so many of them near me. Yeah, I was shooting Bruce in the face, he just wouldn't die. I saw that, yeah. Dude, I might be fucked. I'm ah, fucked. Weird. I'm fucked. Fuck off, man. Well, you do have the, uh, you've got a... What, what God, this that? game is so obnoxious. The fucking movement. Can I revive you as a thing? No. Get out of here. Get out of here. I don't know how Brutus killed me, dude. I'm sticking it. Ah! Alright. Good job, dude. Oh, fuck off. This could be, could be tricky to get you back. I'm doing my usual stick. You're doing great. You're doing great. But I haven't got a jug, so I can't tank a single shot. I know, I know. I mean, if you have to finish the round, so be it, right? Like, Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do my best as... Oh, my God, dude. Fuck, fuck, fuck! You fucking God. asshole! Oh, I hate this game sometimes, this man. so fucking annoying. I'm not picking the death machine up anymore. The reload time on it fucked me there. God. It completely fucked me. Oh, fuck, dude. <sighs> So yeah, there goes 45 minutes. That was a rare Joe and Jameson disaster moment. I really thought that once Brutus's helmet was popped off, he was really weak, like almost a one-tap. So I stood my ground really confident that Brutus was going to go down. Uh, but yeah... That was a bad move, apparently. I really shouldn't have done that. And you know what? Maybe Chapter 5 was in need of a disaster. Because actually, so far, this has been a very smooth journey. I will say this was mostly my fault. But uh, let's do it all over again. For attempt two, or I guess this is attempt three now, I did get the Blundergat in the mystery box, which is nice because I was curious to see what this was like if I pack a punched it before it had been transformed into the acid gat. Um, but anyway, we're here again, doing this same thing again. It was my bad, dude. It was my it's bad. It's okay, it's okay. I got, uh, I was too cocky. Yeah. It's all good, it's all good. Zombies is, um, it doesn't like overconfidence. <laughs> no. This game is very yeah. punishing whenever you get a little bit too comfortable. Yeah, definitely. It's pretty much every one of my mistakes. It's like, I'm feeling all right now. Yeah. You should be good. We can just finish the round. Finish I'll just let you kill the last. And you've got enough to pack a punch your gun. <gasps> Let's go. Nice. Had the noise. Yeah. Pack a punch in the blunder gat. I guess we should get it down. To, yeah, we should do another round here. Get it to the low thing. Okay. The sweeper. Ooh, he's got chains and stuff on cool. here. Cool. Whoa. There's three of them now. What the fuck? What the hell? It's like a little, like, ray gun. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Yeah. We got this. We got this. I'm ray gun boy. I'm back again. Okay, thank God. I'm at, okay, I was actually really, really hurt. <laughs> Go, go, go. Um, oh shit, we've got the- No, 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 I'm dead again. Yep. 
Oh my god, dude, we went the same way. I swear to fuck, man. Okay, we're trying. I just can't get the death machine reloaded, so I, I could barely even swap to it in time. You guys might be getting a bit of deja vu here, but this is the next round, I promise. Uh, Jameson just always got the death machine, and I always got the ray gun. It's kind of weird, honestly. I'm going to try and get off of this bridge. Yeah. Just run and leave me, and yeah, it's fine. I'm getting the fuck out of here, dude. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Jesus Christ! I've got lots of money, so I can, I can. The golden yeah. bridge, man, is so stressful. Oh God, fucking death machine is. Uh, I had fully, I like swear, I fully reloaded it, and it wasn't when I swapped to it there. So we got unlucky with the with the training as well. We we ran into each other. I know, I know, yeah. I really have no idea how we perform better with Jameson not shooting and me only chucking a tomahawk compared to when we can both use our weapons freely. But regardless, I am alive. Uh, I do have to survive this round solo though, and I don't have Juggernaut. So wish me luck, I guess. Okay, there is fuckloads of them, man. Okay, there are a lot more than I thought, my bad. Oh boy, dude. You're chilling, you're chilling. I think, think we're, think you're near the end here. I'm gonna go get Jug right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right yeah. Up. Yes, I love that plan. So after that very sweaty struggle for survival, now begins the escapades of why the hell isn't step three working? Uh, well, apparently, I chuck it right here. I think. Try, try again. Maybe like. Oh, there you go. I think. I don't know. Huh. I just, all I heard was the thunder crack of you throwing it. I'm still getting it back. Where am I supposed to be aiming? Oh, that's sad. Hmm. Oh, can you charge? Oh, I think you can charge it. Oh, does it, does it, when you charge it, does it like emit a little like red pulse? Yeah, I think that's what you have to do. I think you can charge like the, how far it goes maybe? It's pretty much right there, yeah. It seems like it's coming back to me every time. I don't understand, dude. What have we done wrong? I don't know, there's a guy from nine years ago saying, the trouble for me occurs when I try to throw the retriever into the hole. Uh, as it appears many others are experience my, experiencing, my retriever won't dissolve into the hole, so I may go on to, so that I may, so that I can complete the quest. There's no solution to it so far. Um, I don't get it. Yeah, that, that looks perfect. Like, that looks like you're doing it perfectly. Uh, well, I'm getting it back, so it's not working. Okay. Yeah, I know. Um... How much more specific is this step going to be? Oh, I got it! Oh, there you go. I had to, like, hit the wall of it. I th think you're good. Okay. God, what a pile of shit, dude. I fucking hated that. Yeah, this is so dumb. All right. Wow. Um, this whole thing has been extremely stressful and annoying. Honestly, more so than the Easter egg. But we are ready for step four, which is to start a fresh round and pick up the new improved hatchet in the afterlife. Here we go, dude. Okay. I'll wait for the number to switch to 14. Good luck to you. Ugh, I'm so fucked, dude. <laughs> I'll grab this shitty shotgun. Oh, good. Brutus is spawning. Fantastic. Good luck, dude. <laughs> I see so it's blue. Yeah, yeah. It's blue. I see it as well. It looks blue to me too. Hell's Redeemer, give me this. Yay! Good luck. Thanks, man. Let me throw it before things get really... I threw it! Yeah, yeah. Nice. It seems the same. Cool. I, I think you could like charge it. It mostly seems similar. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I don't know the difference yet. But it's definitely a different thing, which is good. It's blue. It looks cool. That's fun. It's like flashy to look at. Great. Maybe it's just purely cosmetic. I think it might hit more targets before it comes back. Oh, yeah. That would make sense. Uh, yeah. No, not worth the trouble we just went through, dude. No. Absolutely not. I died. <laughs> I don't know what's happening with you, but you're alive and I'm impressed, dude. I'm, I'm doing great. <laughs> I'm gonna come revive you. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I didn't get a lot of uh, footage of me using the evolved whatever it was, but it didn't mm. seem very good. I only tried to use it on Brutus, so it wasn't amazing. Yeah. 
field test. But it's no... But it just turned... It shot two shots instead, and they were like ray gun shots. It was like pew pew. Hmm. No acid gat, though. The acid gat upgraded is insane. I wasn't sure about the... I think it was called the sweeper. Yeah. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, honestly, I wasn't that impressed by the blunder gat or the sweeper. The acid gat is so powerful that I would imagine the sweeper is actually like a extremely rare sight. Because I have no idea why you would ever not turn it into the Acid Gat. I would actually not be surprised if some of you had never seen the Sweeper before. And I'm not sure how Hell's Redeemer was different. I think it just hits more targets before it comes back to you. I don't know. At this point, I don't care. Fuck you. Mob of the Dead done, as far as I'm aware. Thank God. Hopefully. <laughs> Is there not a second Easter egg on this map? There isn't. No. There's just one. Wow. Thank God. This is the first map, except for uh, Nuketown, that we're not coming back to, dude. Thank God. I mean, we did well, but also, Jesus. <laughs> Burn me. Uh. God, I'm stressful. <sighs> Fucking hell. That is it, guys. Mob of the Dead is done. I do like this map, but to me, and listen, uh, I know some of you are going to freak out when I say this. But I view this map in a similar way to Transit, where- what, it, Wait, wait, chill. Just let- just let me- Listen, you. I liked the exploration of Transit a lot, but I didn't think very highly of the Easter Egg, and by the end of Transit, that map had worn me and Jameson down, and I feel like we went on a pretty similar journey with Mob of the Dead. The first time of building the plane and getting to the Golden Gate was really exciting, but by the sixth time, I don't know, I just didn't really want to go through this process ever again. Overall, still had a really fun time on Mob of the Dead. But this video is finally almost done, but last time in Chapter 4 I missed out on a certain section, a reoccurring section, and this video has already taken a billion years, so I might as well just give myself even more editing work. Why not? One thing I didn't know is Black Ops 2 is actually 10 years after Moon. Oh. Yeah, I thought it was like the next day, essentially. Huh. So Transit and Die Rise have been 2035 that we've been playing. Oh. <laughs> Which is kind of cool. Okay. Uh, so we have four new survivors, at least in Transit, Die Rise, and the upcoming Buried, which is Samuel, Abigail, Martin, and Russman. They find themselves in wherever the hell Transit is set. I don't know why there's a robot driving the bus. I, <laughs> we'll figure that out one day, maybe. It's 2035. Why wouldn't there be robots driving buses? Yeah. <laughs> but Transit starts with Rick Toffin and Max... Max M? What's his name? Maxis? Maxis? Is it Maxis? Maxis? I don't know. <laughs> you, whatever. It starts with Rick Toffin and Maxis. Uh, they are both trying to coerce the group into working for them. That's why there's two different Easter eggs. Oh. You can go either way. Hmm. I don't really understand this part, but Rick Toffin is apparently in the ether or the aether. I don't know what that is, but he's like in a different zombie dimension at the moment. Of course. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. And this is a weird part, which I really wasn't expecting. Maxis is apparently an AI hmm. now. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> he's a digital artificial intelligence. <laughs> okay. There really isn't a lot that goes down in transit. You side with one of the chaps, we did Maxis, and you just charge up the radio tower for one of them. Um, then you get teleported to Die Rise. Uh, I have no idea how we got teleported. It just says Rick Toffin teleported us. <laughs> Apparently that's something he can do from the ether. And then you just do the same thing in Die Rise. You charge up another radio tower. I'm assuming there's a third one in Buried, and those three radio towers are going to come together to do something. Hmm which I don't know yet. Um, so I wasn't going to do a story until chapter 6 because it was all building up to Buried. But I did come across a strange piece of information. So apparently, only one of the four characters can hear Richtofen, uh, which is Samuel. And he can hear Richtofen because he was formerly in a cult called The Flesh, and they would eat zombies. <laughs> <laughs> so Samuel can talk to Rick Toffin because he's got zombie meat in his belly. Oh, wow. Yeah, and Rick Toffin is like the lord of the zombies, and that somehow <laughs> gives him the ability to talk specifically to Samuel out of the four. So yeah, one of us in the four is a cannibal. 
Yeah, huh. <laughs> and I also did listen to the audio logs that we collected at the end of the Easter egg in Mob of the Dead. Oh, right. Uh, and it was, it was kind of interesting. It was a prison guard telling the story of Weasel. Um, he did have a plan to launch a plane off the roof of Alcatraz. Alcatraz? Alcatraz, yeah. Alcatraz. But for whatever reason, the other three inmates got into some altercation, got into an argument, so they didn't like him, and they murdered him up on the roof before they could uh, do the plan. Damn. Before they could perform the escape. And those three guys got put to the electric chair. Ah. And from that, I would say that Mob of the Dead is probably purgatory, if mm. I had to guess. That makes sense. Because you're stuck in a loop. Yeah. You go to the Golden Gate Bridge, you do the escape plan, you go to the Golden Gate Bridge, and then all that is waiting for you is more electric chairs, which just brings you back to the prison. Yeah. So yeah, uh, if people down below want to correct me, explain what actually happened in Mob of the Dead, feel free. Uh, but it's an offshoot from the story, so whatever. That's going to be my lore. It's purgatory in my mind. It, yeah, that's what I sort of figured just playing it through and not even knowing any of the story stuff. That's what it seemed like, so that makes sense. Uh, and yeah, that's all I've got for now. It was a mm. short and sweet one. Like I said, I almost didn't bother until Chapter 6, but I know people like these and there wasn't one in Chapter 4. So I thought we'd pop in and just do a short and sweet catch-up on where we are at. That was fairly coherent. Yeah. Maybe not so Lord of the Zombies living in an alternate dimension, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, that is it. This behemoth is over. I do still have a few last things I want to cover. We may have to break the Patreon exclusivity for Easter egg helpers because we specifically need someone who has finished the transit and die rice Easter eggs on the Maxis side and is ready to go with Buried. I did ping all the Patreons last night and I naively thought and assumed there would be maybe a few of them with this save set up, but I was wrong. Uh, seemingly no one is at that point. We really should have just taken Malta and Lumi with us into transit, but you know, hindsight is a wonderful thing. If you are somehow in the correct position and can help us with the buried Easter egg, please join our Discord and let us know. This video took two months to make and it seems like YouTube's demonetization strictness is getting worse. So if you are a fan of this series, please consider supporting it on Patreon. You get large portions of these videos very early you get the entire easter egg runs and obviously you guys get invited to join us for the filming of these videos thank you to our new wave of patreons literally who turn 91 the mighty doucher vladimir fang the creature darcy who shadows gone rogue zoran tony wesley frace gabe charles dylan Kitsune, TZ Shadow, Michael, El Pity, Santiago, Tori, Kai, Crackhead, and Seth. Thank you guys very much. We really appreciate it. All of our socials are on the screen somewhere. Uh, we're trying to get better at doing short form content across the internet. And also I stream over on Twitch if you guys ever want to yell at me about when the next video is going to come out. But that's it guys. Apart from that, I'm going to yet again go pass out. And then when I wake up... Work on chapter 6 will begin.